Okay, so it's Saturday morning, and I've had Max for one week. And um, as you can see, he's got goopy eyes because the neighboring farm has been spraying. And so this is one of the side effects. And uh, our barn managers are really good, and they've contacted the Department of Agriculture and gotten a mediator on it because... They are spraying illegally. So for all of you who live near farms, um, this is something that you have to deal with. So in our case, it's filbert trees and they use uh, insecticides and herbicides and uh, fungicides on the trees. And they have a new manager and the new manager apparently doesn't understand that his chemicals are harmful and that he shouldn't be spraying when it's gonna cause drift. So fortunately, none of the animals have gotten really sick, but we are so showing side effects. And I've already got him on Cootie Kicker for detoxing, as well as the herbs that he picked. Um, but you can definitely tell he needs to detox. So I'm going and rub his head, which you see. No. I did just brush him off so it's not showing as well but there's a greasy residue on my fingers and it's gray colored so i don't know how well you can see it there maybe a little bit there um, but as he's detoxing that is going to come out more and you can kind of see it inside the fur there so this is not dirt the dirt is brown the there's a little bit of dirt on there but a lot of that is just grease and it makes the dirt stick even more. And so if I were to give him a bath and keep him in a clean space for a couple of days, it would show gray residue, not the brown from the dirt. Um, and you can see that his coat, his mane and tail are very rough and they break off really easily. And that is from not having the proper nutrients. See how uneven it is. But you can see that it should be a nice long mane when it's all grown out. It should be very gorgeous. And all the highlights. This is not just sunburn, but a lot of this is from nutritional deficiency. And so these horses will quite often pick paprika and cayenne, fenugreek, the, you know, the herbs with a lot of color to them. Um, and then this will get blacker and all of his colorations should get blacker. You can see he's got quite a lot of brown sheen to him and that's not what he should be. He should be a nice deep color. He's not a true black, but he is a nice deep color and it's going to get a lot deeper as he gets healthier. So I happened to catch the light coming in at just the right angle so that you could see the brown sheen. <clears throat> and hopefully, you know, in a couple months we'll get a get the same setup to make a comparison of their colors. And uh, as you can hear, my voice is getting a little rough because we've got a lot of pollutants in the air right now. Um, they're burning fields behind us on top of all the spraying and so just some of the downsides of living farther out in the country. Um, but, you know, at least I know about detoxing. So I can get both Max and I reset from all this chemicals in the air. And hopefully we can get him smiling a little better. I've got very first pictures from the first time I tested him. And he had quite the grumpy downturn mouth. And you can see he holds a lot of his emotions in his face. That's why all the wrinkling. Um, but he's feeling a little happier. A little bit more cared for. So we'll see what happens with that as time goes by.